Okay. So it is Bayasa that takes the kickoff, and uh, where the game is underway. It's Bayasa United trying to. But the receiving end was Maner Ubale for Bayasa United. The first free kick in this game. And referee Gabriel Adigu is setting down the rules. I'll take that from you. But after this, no more. Jibu Zokwonko on the ball. And it was a beautifully floated one. An opportunity, he squares it in. And oh, that called for a snapshot there, which didn't come. But it is still by Elsa United. It's a uh, sent way over. Of... Uche Ugochi. Jibu Zokwonko already showing why Kotamonu's travel has so much space in him. But of all the local players, the structure on the ball has been executed today. Osazo Kuro with a corner kick for Bayelsa now. And he puts it. It's a good one. He had a call for another, another fantastic job there by Manwachi. And he was able to leap above everybody to knock that one away. But Bayelsa are not relenting yet as they have returned. They have the ball. Uh, uh, a good position for Bayelsa United. And who's going to take it? Amani Naziti is there. And so also is... Um, and that one is blasted. Actually, it was smothered a little bit of um, a foot in the way. And it was... The, the thing was taken off of all of that free kick that came from Chubuzo Kongo. It's the recipient of uh, that first uh, caution in this really energy sapping game. Yes. I got with you a little bit. So a short pass, quickly waiting on the ball, and um, Jay Gazzarella had no option to pull him down before he got to the tee up of the other than the penalty, and probably a red card. That's the confirmation. Jay Gazzarella, yellow card, and then um, that's for pulling down Abdul Jalil at Jagun when he was uh, looking set to do damage. He's John Abuti. It might be Jonah Abuti, really, who would take the free kick. And uh, we also see Iman Wanchi standing not too far away from him. As the wall of defense is formed. A gentle pass. And that was looking for just a touch and anything could have happened. That blast from Iman Wanchi was begging for connection and none whatsoever came. The special shot of the foot of Iman Wanchi was aiming to go for goal. But the ball struck and was going out of the way. But the ball is kept in. He won't want to. He looks for the far side. And it's, uh, and it's Uche Ugochi who is looking forward and deciding what to do with the ball. Eventually a pass to Joseph Rubinna, which he sends across. And the ball took a wicked bounce there. Uh, was a defender, really. Was able to... It looked like a defender got to the end of that one, but it may have been a bounce off the pitch that saved the situation for Bayern. Yes, indeed. Salis Ibrahim was there on the floor. The ball came, hit it well. Unfortunately for him, he just went badly over the back. Beautiful move by Dolphin. Osas, Okoro, and Salis And finally the free kick. And it's well taken. Oh, another miscalculation, and there you have it. The ball is at the back of the net. Dolphins have found the first slot here today. A player riding on the top there, but I think it was a goal scorer. But really, it was a scramble, an almighty scramble in the goal mount of Bielsa United. Indeed, Joseph Obina put himself, his health, his career on the line there to make sure that he got the much needed goal for Dolphins. And he did. Once again, a hooper by Emmanuel Fabi there. The boss slip his hand second time in how many minutes? Oh, that was a disaster that's been waiting to happen since the rain started. Beautiful goal by Joseph Fubi now put himself on the line and it's now by Elsa United leading home team Dolphins by long team. Go kick coming for Dolphins, they're taking all the time in the world. Uche Ugochi had to run all the way back to take that one. And it's not the way. And there you have it, the final whistle. It's 
uh, jersey number four for Dolphin. That's the man who received the booking. And it's Nassifi who takes that one. It's a good one going into goal. And eventually, the honors are given. The supplement has been re returned. It's a goal given for the Oh, how painful must this be for Dolphin? And how truly the theory of this must be for Bayelsa United. Yes, we've seen two goals today, both coming from goalkeepers' errors. Sunday wrote to me this time the culprit. I think he's trying to say what Papi can do, he can also do. He points the ball right at um, substitute Andrew Michael, who just came in for Bielsa and straight to the back of the net. Two goalkeepers' errors, two handling errors, two goals. One goal appears to Bielsa, one goal to Dolphin. Andrew, the substitute. 